obviously we've got a big fight this weekend mark hunt taking on uh, the black beast Derek lewis that's going to be a lot of fun and if you want to put some money on that and i suggest by the way my my uh, my prediction will be mark hunt to win mm. by a knockout because the fight is happening in uh, new zealand so it's the hometown and Listen, somebody's getting knocked out in that fight, and if you want to make some money, go to BetDSI and use the promo code ME25. Is it ME25, Lewis? ME25. Yeah, use the promo code ME25, BetDSI. Who are BetDSI? I hear you saying, well, BetDSI have over 20 years in the business. They are the top-rated business on sportbook review sites. So, you know, these guys know... Uh, the platform is a great mobile product. It's easy to use from anywhere. With live in-game wagering, you can make plays throughout entire games and events. Amazing customer service available 24-7, 365, and a built reputation on fast payments of winnings. So free $25 for you to try the service just for res- registering. So really, what are you waiting for? $25 for free if you register. Put that on. Mark Hunt to no. win because he's the underdog in New Zealand by KO. It's free money, people. I Have think I, here's the thing. I agree with everything you just said except for putting the money on Mark Hunt. Look, I love Mark Hunt, but I got to be honest with you. I think I think Mark Hunt is a little bit past his prime. I think Derek. No, no, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Say your point. Derek Lewis is on a tear. Mark Hunt just lost to Alistair Overeem. Then he had the, he got killed by Brock Lesnar. He's slipping. The Black Beast is six in a row with wins over Travis Brown, Roy Nelson, Gabe Gonzaga. I mean, this guy's real deal, and he's knocking dudes out. He's terrifying. At the end of the day, you know, there's a reason that he's a minus 175 favorite in this fight. Take your $25. Put it on the black beast, and you will win yourself like four dollars. It's gonna be pretty incredible. But can I can I say this, Mike? Little side note, little side promotion. Go ahead, just please, please, please go ahead. I'm very excited to hear this useless information. Just for Gas Digital, uh, people. Here's the thing: we we obviously have an amazing network called the Gas Digital Network, and there's exclusive um, offerings through Gas Digital. Obviously, you're listening to this podcast on iTunes and and you know or Google Player, one of these amazing platforms. But you can listen to the show live. You get it early. We have a live chat. There's message boards. There's all these other incredible things that we have attached to this show that are exclusive for Gas Digital members. Um, GasDigitalNetwork.com is the website. And if you open your account at BetDSI.com with promo code ME, uh, I'm sorry, with promo code ME25, if you open it with $100, if you put an actual $100 in the account, we're going to give you a free year-long Gas Digital membership um, to try out, to check out this show and all the other amazing shows. Jamie Joss, the lead singer of Hatebreed, uh, Bruce Buffer's It's Time, the Legion of Skanks podcast, Dave Smith's Part of the Problem, some amazing, incredible shows. Uh, you get a free membership just for adding $100 to your account. You can win lots of money. We're going to give you insights every week on all the amazing fights that are happening, UFC and other sports too, soccer. You love you love British football, Michael Bisping. We can talk about that too. <laughs> so listen, here's the thing. Lewis, you are a very, very good comedian. I've seen you live. You kill it. You're very funny. Running a podcast network, also very talented. Thank you. You Thank know, you. we are part of this uh, ever-increasing gas digital network. Um, but picking fights, my friend, oh, come on. fucking suck. So come on. here's the deal, everybody. Take the register on BetDSI. Use the code believe, no, sorry, me25. Take that $25. Put it on Mark Hunt to win by knockout because I guarantee you right now that is what's going to happen. And for everybody that loses that bet, I swear to God, I stand by this. Oh, Jesus. Anybody that's out of pocket, I will reimburse My- every single no. listener. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm telling you now. Go take go, promo code me25 on BetDSI. <laughs> register 25 bucks. Put it on Mark Hunt, and if you lose, I'll reimburse all of your money. What if it's a thousand dollars? Or was a thousand people? And no. That's- listen to what I'm saying. The 25 dollars is free. I will bet. Any money that you are out of pocket. Oh. Nobody's going to be out of pocket because the $25 is free. Okay, now I get it now. All right, good. Very safe, but Michael still, Bisping. But still, I strongly advise you to put on as much money as you've got. I have a feeling we're going to get sued no matter what, but it's okay. It doesn't matter. We're going to probably... bet DSI and bet on Mark fucking Hunt. I love the Black Beast. He's very hilarious. He's very funny. I root for him all the time. I really do. But he did get knocked out again by uh, the meathead. What's his name? The meathead. Mitrion? The meat. Mitrion, Matt Mitrion, who, again, you know, is a big, hard-hitting guy. I just don't see um, the, Black, the Black Beast winning in New Zealand. All right, let's get back into the show. 
Um, all right, got to talk about this. Chuck Liddell, who was my first favorite fighter of all time. Like it, when I first got into UFC, Chuck was fucking reigning king. That was it. Chuck, he was, he was, <clears throat> in my opinion, the first uh, like real, like marketable guy. For, from my perspective, the problem with Tito, because Tito was the first dude that they were like really trying to push is like the big loud mouth. And he was great. But Tito was still a wrestler and was ground and pounding dudes. And I think we were still being educated as fans at the time. It wasn't as exciting to watch Tito ground and pound people as it was when Chuck Liddell just got in there and was sort of just knocking motherfuckers out. It was crazy. Chuck Liddell made me fall in love with the sport. That was like the dude, you know? Yeah, yeah. No, Chuck was, uh, he was the man. He was partly responsible for putting this uh, sport on the map. He really was. He was one of the guys that really built it. Um, and, and not enough Go credit on. given to Chuck Liddell for kind of being the godfather of the current style of sprawl and brawl and, and kind of like the dudes who have wrestling bases now that don't really wrestle dudes down and wrestle fuck them and, and get on top of them and try to ground and pound them. The guys who are wrestlers, the Demetrius Johnsons of the world who wrestle to keep, you know, to, to kind of put themselves in the dominant position. Um, that's kind of like chocolate. I was the first dude that was like really wrestling to keep it standing. You know, if he did get taken down, you know, just getting back up to his feet, the style that you incorporate your whole style. I feel like Chuck Liddell was the guy who kind of made that style. I disagree. I disagree. Just because somebody wants to throw punches and not get taken down, that's not really a style. That's just fighting the way you want to fight. You know what I'm saying? I want to go out there. I want to kickbox. My background is that of a kickboxer with a bit of boxing now. Um, and I don't want to get taken down because therefore I can't fucking kickbox. That doesn't mean that I owe my entire style to Chuck Liddell. <laughs> uh, I was doing kickboxing before I even knew who Chuck Liddell was or before I seen that stupid fucking haircut. Now, I'm not disrespecting Chuck Liddell. Except for calling his haircut he's stupid. An icon of, he's an icon of the sport, and uh, he helped build it today, uh, the sport to where it is today, and, and, and all credit is due to Chuck Liddell. You know, I met Chuck a few times over the years, and he's a good, good guy. We have a good relationship. But um, people like me and people like Chuck Liddell, when they meet at, let's say, 3 in the morning after lots of alcohol has been consumed, they, it never goes well. Because we're both alpha males, you know what I mean? Like, for example, I remember I fought at UFC, I can't remember which one it was. I fought in London, and I went out to an after party. And we came back, and uh, me and my wife um, walked into the hotel. It's three in the morning, I'm just trying to get another quick drink before bed, celebrating. Yeah, why not, night, you know? know? Yeah, and uh, there's Chuck, and Chuck's with all his crew at the time. And I can't remember what happened, uh, and neither can he. Um, but it got a little, <laughs> it got a little, you know, a little um, edgy, shall we say. Right. And anyway, a, a while later, I was in Vegas, and uh, Chuck Liddell came up to me. He goes, hey, what's up, Mike? I said, hey, what's up, buddy? How you doing? He's like, did we nearly fight in London? I'm like, I don't know. I can't really remember. He said, yeah. He said, me neither. He said, but apparently, everybody said that we nearly got into a fight and this and that. And I vaguely remember. There was a bit of shit talking going on, but uh, we were both... Very, very drunk and uh, just having a good time, I guess. But uh, yeah, Chuck Liddell is a legend. And you know what I just what realized? What are we talking about here? We're talking about him, maybe. Well, no, maybe. I, I just realized that you are the common denominator in that situation. The same thing happened with Eddie Bravo. Uh, same thing's happened. It says, you know, I'm, look, I, I don't whoa, know. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold on. Are you saying that you've never had an argument with somebody? Not with a professional MMA fighter. Yeah, but you, all right, with a comedian then. Yeah, I have. No, but I'm an asshole. Oh. Well, I'm an asshole. Saying, but, I'm the problem. That's what I said. I'm an asshole. Well, well, I'm I'm an alpha male, and an alpha male with an alpha male. It's like it's like my dog Dito when he was around. God rest his soul. <laughs> He's, He's listening. Fine. He's listening up in heaven right He's now. He's fine with all other dogs that are smaller than him. Yeah. You know, but when he sees this dog that's a similar size that keeps pissing on his garden hedge, right? He's like, motherfucker. There he is. I've wanted this dog for a while, and they fight, and it's the same thing. With with uh, with with humans, with alpha males, especially ones that fight in the UFCs, and when it's three, four in the morning, and there's been copious amounts of alcohol involved. Um, so yeah, but uh, yeah, no, no, Chuck's the man. But um, so we're talking about him possibly coming back. Possibly and for a tease in Bellator, right? Forty-seven years old. I guess he met with Scott Coker. Um, which is crazy to me. It's crazy to me that, I mean, I'm sure Dana White is furious because apparently Dana White and Chuck Liddell are like real deal friends, like old school friends. Um, but in the climate today, how do you bring back Chuck Liddell? I don't really know. I, I, how do you justify it in the UFC 
without it being looked at as a freak show. I mean, look, if you're going to have CM Punk, I think there's more justification for bringing back Chuck Liddell. Um, at, at least he's a former champion. I mean, I, I really don't know. Yeah. I, I don't know how to do it. But so, here, so here's the thing. Now, I don't know this for a fact. This is third-hand information, okay? Um, but that's my disclaimer because I'm in, I'm in the circle, you know, where people tell me things. So I'm this, uh, this is, this is me dis- putting out a disclaimer. If they hear me saying this, I can say, well, I said it was third hand information. Right. When, when really it might not be third hand information. You know what we should do, uh, Mike? We should get a sound effect where it's, uh, just some sort of like, some like glass breaking or something or like a chain breaking sound effect for you breaking the circle of trust. Yeah. Well, no, it was be you breaking the circle of trust. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm not breaking any circle of trust, but somebody at the weekend told me um, that Chuck Liddell is really pissed off uh, because he had a sweet deal. 